Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist is Chris Bailey with you coming from Kroger on Richmond Road in Lexington, WKYT Midland Weather Radios. We're going to be selling some of those and we're also going to be looking ahead to the weekend forecast next. A traffic stop lands a central Kentucky mother in jail. Wait until you hear where police say she tried to hide drugs after being pulled over. Some of the best memories of my life. And saying goodbye to Kentucky's lone senior, a final farewell tomorrow at Rupp for Alex Poitras. This is WKYT News at 4. Welcome to WKYT News at 4. I'm Amber Philpott. Jennifer Palumbo has the day off. The weekend is off and running on a chilly note, but warmer weather is on the way. It's also a good time to talk about being prepared for severe springtime weather. And that's why Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is live for us at the Kroger Marketplace on Richmond Road. Good afternoon, Chris. Hi, Amber. Good afternoon, everybody. We are indeed out here at Kroger on Richmond Road. You mentioned severe weather season just around the corner with thunderstorms in the forecast for next week. We thought it would be a great time to get outside and go to one of our uh, participating sponsors, which is Kroger, for our WKYT Midland Weather Radios. We are going to be selling those. You get a good deal on those. I've got Jim Caldwell over here with me. Already a line of folks who are here as well to pick up one of the Midland Weather Radios. And we're going to be here through six. 30. Not only can you come and get one at a discount price, but you will also get one that we can uh, tailor to your county or counties that you need. We will program it for you so you don't even have to worry about that. So come on out here. We'll be here through 6 30. All right, let's get into the weather part of the program. Looking into the weekend now. It's been kind of ugly out there for this Friday. We look at what's going on in Lexington and our live sky cam picking up on still a fair amount of clouds across the entire area. 42 degrees Lexington, humidity still up there, 70% winds coming at us from the northwest at 7 miles per hour. And that's adding a little chill to the air so it feels colder than that 42 degrees. We look at temperatures across the entire area. Can you pick out where the snow is on the ground? Look at eastern Kentucky, generally into the mid and upper 30s. Yet it's 42 Lexington, 40 into the Frankfurt area low 40s to the west. So most areas right now actually seeing upper 30s to around 40. That Lexington thermometer appears to be the warmest of the entire group. We look at elsewhere across the region on your Defender Radar Network. Things much better than what we were talking about yesterday. Nothing going on across central and eastern Kentucky. We broaden out that view to show you that the entire region still picking up on a fair amount of clouds. And we're getting it on a few holes in the clouds across parts of central Kentucky as of now. If you're out this evening, those temperatures dropping through the 30s with a most Mostly cloudy sky and the possibility uh, of uh, temperatures dropping below freezing by around 11 o'clock. So if you had a little slush on some of those roads in the eastern Kentucky still, that may try to freeze up on us second part of the evening. Amber, when I come back here in about 15 minutes, we're going to talk about a forecast that does get a lot better as we roll our way into not only the weekend, but especially next week. Springtime is in the forecast. We'll see you in 15 minutes. That is what we like to hear. Chris, thank you. A traffic stop led to drug charges against a central Kentucky mother who police say tried to hide drugs on her teenage son. The Boyle County Sheriff's Office says Tanya Davis was pulled over after leaving a motel in Danville. WKYT's Phil Pendleton has more on the charges she's now facing. It's our top story at four. A Boyle County deputy sheriff was on patrol in this area recently, and he says he noticed a suspicious vehicle leaving the Super 8 motel behind me. He pulled that car over, and he says that's when his canine, Nikki, got right to work. Sheriff Marty Elliott says the deputy was doing drug interdiction when they observed the suspicious vehicle. The canine was deployed and hit on the inside, telling them there were narcotics there. Police say sure enough, they found pills, marijuana, crystal meth and baggies, and digital scales. And that's when police say the driver, 37-year-old Tanya Davis, tried to hide drugs on her son. You really don't have his best interest at all uh, if you're trafficking narcotics with him in a vehicle with you. Well, Davis is facing a lot of drug charges based on what police say they found in her car. She's charged with a lot of trafficking offenses, also drug paraphernalia, but she's also faced with wanton endangerment and endangering the welfare of a minor. A lot more on what we've learned about these allegations coming up at 5 o'clock. But for now, in Boyle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. 
Police say Davis was actually on probation for dealing drugs in another county. Doctors in a central Kentucky community say they've seen more than a dozen overdoses this week. While all the patients have survived, there's concern about what's causing the spike in Frankfurt. Medical professionals say it's from a bad batch of heroin. Generally what that tells us is that there's, they're cutting the, the heroin with something else, making it more potent than people are used to. Had a guy the other day tell me he used the exact same amount he always uses, and this time it almost killed him. Dr. Corey says if the drug is a different color than normal, then it's a telltale sign that something is wrong. We'll have more on the spike in overdoses on WKYT News at 530. A University of Kentucky football player was in court this afternoon after he was arrested early this morning. UK police charged William Thomas Collins with alcohol intoxication, criminal mischief, theft by unlawful taking, and fleeing and evading. Collins is a junior walk on fullback for the Cats. The UK basketball team is welcoming the LSU Tigers into Rupp Arena tomorrow for Senior Day. The fans will say farewell to Alex Poitras. Our Rob Bromley is here now with reaction from the seniors. Sad to see him go, Rob. Well, it will be. It'll be the last one in Rupp tomorrow afternoon for Alex Poitras. Alex has never been one to show of a lot of emotion, and he did not today when he met with the media. But you would have to think it will be emotional Saturday. Poitras has been so, through so much over four years, coming in with high expectations, dealing with the injuries. He agreed today the fans love him. Yeah, I think they do. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, um, I'm just be blessed, be blessed in the situation I'm in. It's been long, um, but you know it's been great. It's some of the best memories of my life. You know I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm proud of Alex. He's such a great kid. You know the injuries and the things that he's had to overcome. Um, you know you just root for a kid like that. You know we've had three. All right, LSU interrupt tomorrow. Will Scal start the game? What's the latest on Derek Willis? All of that will be coming up a little bit later right here. And, of course, we'll uh, have much more on Alex Poitras. Amber, back to you. Rob, thank you. By the way, the postseason starts next week. The Cats will play in the SEC tournament one week from today. Tomorrow, Kentucky Republicans will get their say in the 2016 presidential race. Here's what you need to know about tomorrow's caucus. First, you have to be a registered Republican, and you need to bring a form of ID with you. You won't go to your normal polling place. Instead, there are specific caucus locations. Lexington has four, Lafayette and Henry Clay High Schools, Northeast Christian Church, and Ashland Avenue Baptist Church. We can help you find your caucus site on WKYT.com. Now to some stories making headlines across the nation at four. There's another turn in the O.J. Simpson case. Los Angeles police are investigating the discovery of a knife reportedly found on property he once owned. As Terry Okita reports, this comes more than 20 years after the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. Los Angeles police announced Friday that investigators are now testing a knife that a construction worker allegedly found on the property formerly owned by O.J. Simpson. Within the last month, LAPD became aware of an item that was allegedly recovered by a citizen uh, at the Rockingham uh, property, possibly during the demolition of the site. A worker who helped level the home in 1998 says he turned the knife over to an off-duty LAPD officer years ago. The LAPD says when detectives discovered the now-retired officer had the knife, they launched an investigation. They said the former officer believed the case was closed and kept it. But he's an LAPD officer. He didn't know to turn it in? I, I don't know what, what his statement is. That's, that's the information I have at this time. The LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division is now testing the knife for hair, fingerprints, and other DNA. In 1995, Simpson was acquitted of the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman. The case continues to fascinate the public. More than 20 years later, a new TV miniseries debuted with strong ratings. They have to question the timing right at the time of the miniseries on the OJ case, and all of a sudden they come up with this knife. It's going to raise some eyebrows. The LAPD says the knife story could be, quote, bogus. But since there's been no conviction, the case remains open. Terry Okita, CBS News, Los Angeles. O.J. Simpson is serving time in Nevada for a 2008 armed robbery and kidnapping. Police say he cannot be charged again with murder in the 1994 case since he was already acquitted. 
It is being called the Uber for doctor's appointments. More on how a new app works and how it can save you money in WKYT Money Watch. Important message for women and men ages 50 to 85. Please write down this toll-free number now. Right now in areas like yours, people are receiving this free information kit for guaranteed acceptance life insurance with a rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. If you are on a fixed income or concerned about rising prices, learn about affordable whole life insurance with a lifetime rate lock that guarantees your rate can never increase for any reason. If you did not receive your information or if you misplaced it, call this number now and we'll rush it to you. Your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. Please stand by to learn more. I'm Alex Trebek and the announcement you just heard is for a popular and affordable life insurance plan with a rate lock guarantee. That means your rate is locked in for life and can never increase. Did you get your free information kit in the mail? If not, please call this toll-free number now. In the last month alone, thousands have called about this plan with the rate lock guarantee through the Colonial Pen Program. And here's why. This plan is affordable with coverage options for just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in and can never go up. And your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your free information kit. Don't wait. Call today. Call 1-800-909-4488 for your free information and free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-909-4488. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-909-4488. Call now. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer fad. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Everyone wants to be energy smart, but sometimes we need a little reminder. With Simple Saver, you save energy and the environment, and you earn energy bill credits. So take the hint. Just call or sign up online, and we'll do all the work. Simple Saver, because being energy smart pays. Jackson Energy and Cumberland Valley Electric, your touchstone energy cooperatives. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. It is being called the Uber of cosmetic surgery. A new app is helping patients find surgeons to perform virtually any kind of cosmetic procedure with just a few swipes on their phone or tablet. Chris Martinez shows us how it works in today's Money Watch. Any problems? Dryness? No. So far, so good is how Victor Cortez describes his recovery after undergoing a cosmetic procedure on his upper eyelids called blepharoplasty. I turned 50 and one of my eyelids dropped and it was pretty severe. Victor turned to an app called Zwivel to find his doctor. The app helps connect cosmetic surgeons to patients after they answer a few questions about what they're looking for and what they're willing to pay. Dr. Lily Lee says she gets at least five inquiries a week. It gives you a little bit of barrier. You don't have to give out all kinds of personal information, but yet you can get the answers that you're looking for. Zwivel is just one of a fast-growing number of on-demand health care apps that allow patients to find physicians without ever leaving their home, from primary care doctors to doctors that make house calls. Health care is the second fastest on-demand business in the U.S. Take my touch? Yes. In Victor's case, the surgery with his Zwivel found doctor changed more than just his appearance. She brought back my confidence, which was lost. 
He says it also changed the way he'll look for doctors in the future. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Pasadena, California. Since the Zwivel app debuted last fall, more than 1,000 doctors have signed on to use it. It's estimated that investments for on-demand health care apps and services will top $1 billion by next year. Smith & Wesson, a manufacturer of firearms and BB guns, had a huge quarter. The gunmaker reported an increase of 61.5% in the three months that ended January 31st, compared to the same period the year before. Profits also increased dramatically. Smith & Wesson CEO James Debney says smaller handguns designed for concealed carry and personal protection are still very popular with consumers here in the U.S. She believed she could, so she did. Two single moms starting a new business called A New You. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about with their story today. And we are out and about today at Kroger. We'll show you why I'm out here. We'll look ahead to that weekend forecast. That is just around the corner. Stay with us. The Republican race for president is red hot, and Kentucky is in the thick of it. On Saturday, watch a WKYT Campaign 2016 Special Edition to see who wins the Kentucky Republican Caucus. Saturday at 7 on WKYT. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. Today, people will leave for work, school, or just to have fun. Before the day is over, an accident will change their lives forever. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For almost 30 years, we've represented families at their time of need. Our job is to try and put lives back together, to bring justice. Pain and suffering, lost wages, medical bills are real. Sometimes these injuries can last a lifetime. A lifetime is a long time. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Hey, everybody. Chief Meteor Meteorologist Chris Bailey back with you here at Kroger, Richmond Road in Lexington. We have a great deal going on with our partner Midland Weather Radios for a discount price for these uh, weather radios that will alert you in severe weather. Uh, we've got folks here from the uh, Lexington Fayette Emergency Management as well. Come by and uh, meet those folks. We've got Jim Caldwell actually getting some work out of Jim Caldwell. He is doing some of the programming for our weather radios. These are specific weather radios. That
that you can get programmed for whatever county you want to be alerted to. So if you're in Lexington, you can only get a Fayette County warning. You don't worry about any other county. Or you can get multiple counties around you as well. We're going to be here through 6.30 this evening. And uh, we've got a good deal going on with these weather radios, courtesy of our uh, partner, with, uh, partner with Midland Weather Radios. All right, how about the actual weather part? Let's get into it, show you how things are looking right now across the entire area. We are dealing with still a fair amount of clouds across the area and across eastern Kentucky, keeping those temperatures down a little bit, mid to upper 30s, where we have the snow on the ground. You can see those mid 30s showing up, and that snow has been slow to melt out there today with temperatures and clouds uh, kind of uh, holding that down. Defender Radar Network, nothing going on right now across central and eastern Kentucky as we make our way on a broader view, we are dealing with nothing across the entire area. A little bit of cloud cover continues to show up throughout central and eastern Kentucky, and those clouds are going to be tough to scour out this evening. Though we've been seeing a few holes in the clouds across parts of north central Kentucky, but another little system is diving its way on into town from northwest to southeast. Hour by hour forecast into your Saturday. Temperatures tomorrow will spike toward 50, if not the low 50s. Problem with that. It's windy, and we have some showers that will be developing across the region. That's another cold front. Gusty winds tomorrow may reach 40 miles per hour as that front barrels its way on through the area. Hour by hour forecast now as we take you through the weekend with better weather slowly but surely moving on into town. Considering where we've been though, over the past few days, anything's going to qualify as better weather. Out this evening, temperatures in the 30s. First thing tomorrow morning, here comes some moisture, courtesy of that front to our northwest. That will zip its way on into town fairly quickly into the first part of our Saturday. And so as we go throughout the day, anyone is fair game for a shower. Gusty winds, a lot of clouds, temperatures that will be kind of all over the place. We'll spike it toward the upper 40s and low 50s. The farther north you go, you're going to be colder than everybody else. As we make our way now through our Saturday evening and into the day on Sunday, we will notice that front pulling on out of the area. Good news there. So as we go through your Sunday, notice how the clouds are still around early in the morning by the afternoon. A little bit of sunshine breaking out and temperatures should hit 50 to 55 degrees across most of the area. That is welcome news. And uh, by the time we go uh, throughout the rest of that Sunday forecast, again, uh, temperatures that will be down just a little bit. Monday's forecast as well looking a lot better with thermometers that will top out at 60 degrees or better as we go into the afternoon. Seven day forecast as we jump ahead and show you how things turn spring like into next week. We will see that big ridge of high pressure to our southeast that will uh, really funnel in a lot of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. That could be a stormy pattern. So your seven day forecast will indicate spring finally doing its thing as we go into next week with temperatures on a daily basis that may hit 70 degrees or a little better and the threat for some showers and thunderstorms will begin to develop as we go toward the middle and end of the week especially. So again, we're going to be out here at Kroger on Richmond Road in Lexington through 630. You want to pick up a weather radio? We'll hook you up with that. We'll also hook you up with a uh, site-specific weather radio that will only alert you to the county that you're in. Right now, let's get a check on traffic. Here is my buddy, Mike Linden. Mike. Well, Chris, things are looking pretty good on the roadways right now. Of course, your typical spots, Nicholasville Road, Richmond Road, and right on into downtown Lexington, your typical slowing down of the roadways. Otherwise, 75, 64, looking pretty good as we work our way through the evening hours. Your drive times leaving Lexington are normal. Anywhere between about 10 to 30 minutes if you're heading to Mount Sterling or 10, 11 minutes if you're heading toward Versailles. But things are looking good on the roadways. Amber, over to you. Mike, thank you. There's a new place in town geared towards making you feel like a new you. Deanne Stevens is out and about today. She joins us from a new you day spa. Hey, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys. We are here at a new you day spa, and this is all about reinventing yourself, making yourself feel better. And these two young ladies know all about it. We have Ashley and Thelma with us. I love your story. Two single moms, and you decided, heck, we got this. We can do this. Tell us about a new you. We just wanted to offer something that was unique, um, that wasn't a part of um, a salon where it was loud. We want you to come in relaxed. We want you to leave relaxed. And um, just offer something new to Lexington. And you guys decided, heck, we can do this all on our own, right? And, and went out on your own, and, and here we are today. Yes. 
Yes. We just, you know, we worked, we've worked together for years, and we just finally decided, you know what, it's time. If, if we can do it, then let's, let's just go for it. So we just, we did it. Anyone else can? Yeah, I was going to say, you're really an inspiration to a lot of women out there that maybe have wanted to do this for years. Talk a bit about that, and, and a little bit more on your story and your background on being a single mom, but how you make it all work, and how you're reaching mm -hmm. out to other single moms out there. Well, we just want to. We just want you all to know that you all can do it too. I mean, we can do it. You all can do it, and it's possible. And Reach you, for your dreams. You really cater to those moms too, because you said we'll come in when they can get here. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And you can rent the spa out around your schedule. Come in, be pampered. Uh, we know what it's like, mm -hmm. you know, to have trying to juggle a career and children and doing it all on your own. So it's kind of our way of just saying. Let's do this. Believe in yourself, and you can just make anything happen. I love it. What are some of the services you offer? Um, I do facials and body waxing, eyelash extensions, uh, eyebrow tinting, and eyelash tinting. And then we have massages, Massage, right? <laughs> yes. So we also do ear candling, body scrubs, body treatments, and then we also offer nails, pedicures. So you can come in and just really have a full day of it. And come in and make yourself a brand new you. Check it out for yourself. Wellington Office Plaza, right across from Jesse Clark Middle School. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about at a new you. Back to you guys. Deanne, thank you. Fans are saying farewell to Alex Poitras tomorrow on Senior Day. Stay with us. Lee K. Howard and Dave Baker are up next with Countdown to Game Time. And tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $144 million, and tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot is $40 million. Unclaimed freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture. Seven piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free layaway till tax refund. Same day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight in Lexington, 272 West New Circle Road, next to Walmart, across from Jalapenos. Phone 226 0008. Turn back the clock around the clock with Merle Norman's anti-aging complex system. 94% saw an improvement in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 91% agree skin felt firmer around the eyes. 91% felt an improvement in skin smoothness. Ask about our latest anti-aging complex dry oil serum. Merle Norman. Your gift with the purchase of two or more Merle Norman cosmetic products. Do you have to get in a car accident for your insurance to matter? What if you could get help with more, more often? You can when you're a member and your insurance is AAA. Get your car looking brand new again at Jeff's Car Wash, voted best in Lexington 20 years in a row. With plenty of options for any budget, Jeff's gives you the best car wash in town. Get wax and tire magic for just $12 with our exterior wash and go. These creamery shakes are so rich and creamy. I know. Finally, a shake for an aficionado like myself. Wait, you're a shake aficionado? Not a shake aficionado. The shake aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps you could be one too. Go oh. ahead. Mm. It's a coolness. Cold. It's cold. Okay. Ice cream is cold. <laughs> Stop the presses, guys. Ice cream is cold. Says Pete. Print it. New slow turned creamery shakes are here in premium flavors like bourbon brown sugar. And all shakes are half price after 8 p.m. This is how you sonic. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do. Mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning. And Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. It's this countdown to game time. Kentucky's getting ready for its last game of the regular season. The 22nd ranked Wildcats are in a battle to win the SEC title before they take on LSU tomorrow afternoon. They'll honor their only senior 
Alex Poitras before the game. WKYT's Dave Baker joins me now. And Buzz, it's always a special day for seniors at UK. You know that. It's always been a big well, I was tradition. trying to think, how long have you been here? Is this your first senior day? No, no, no. Because Cal hadn't had too many seniors. Uh, right. This is about my fifth. This but, used to be a really big deal. Right. But he hasn't had many guys like Alex, a traditional no, guy no. who spends four years at Kentucky. It's got to be a special day for a guy like Alex tomorrow. Absolutely. With everything that uh, he's been through, the injuries that he's fought through, there's, uh, uh, there, there is a real warmness, a real appreciation for the guys that played with him for what he means, what he's battled through, what he's battled back from. Even this season, you know, when he had whatever that mysterious knee injury was midway through the season, and, and he came back and looked great in one game, not so great in another game, but the question is, can he find that consistency that people have been waiting for throughout his career? He looked pretty good the other night against Florida. He mm -hmm. was one of five guys that scored in double figures for the Wildcats against the Gators. So did Scal Abissier. Is that something that we should expect from Scal going forward? It's the retweak is what it is, right? <laughs> it was a tweak last year. It's the retweak this year. I, I think what, what Cal is really great at doing is trying to find different ways to allow guys to really succeed at their best level. And I think what they did was they just moved Scal out on the floor a little bit more. Right. He's not a true back to the basket kind of pivot. And so what they did was they got him out in space a little bit. He could put the ball on the deck. He could fake a little bit. He could go. And that just kind of opened up the offense. And, and, and Murray and Eulis have played so well and defenses have shaded to them that what they've done is if they get anything at all from the post, it's going to open things up. And remember, Cal has said that Derek Willis definitely will be back tomorrow in the way he's played. It'll be interesting to see how he plays in his return. Now, of course, tomorrow's a big game, not only because it's senior day, but because it's the final game of the regular season, and the Wildcats still have a lot to play for. Well, and, and so does LSU, but it's just how close this had been. Now, South Carolina lost to Georgia last night by a bucket. Had they won, right. there was the potential for a five-way tie for first, and Kentucky could have fallen all the way to fifth with the tiebreakers. Now, there's a potential for a four-way tie if Kentucky and A&M both lose. Kentucky could fall to the four seed. They could still win it outright, though, get that early game and get as much rest as possible. LSU, they're not the same without Hornsby, and I think they've got to win the SEC tournament to get into the NCAA tournament. It will be a big game for the Wildcats. It's senior day. Next for the Wildcats, Kentucky and LSU. It's Saturday at 2 o'clock. You can see it right here on WKYT. And also, I want to remind you to catch a new edition of This is Kentucky Basketball. It's this Sunday. Joel Justice, the special assistant to John Calabria. The analytics guy. He's the numbers guy. How about that title, right, Buzz? He will co-host this week with Jennifer Palumbo. We look forward to the SEC tournament in that episode, as well as next year's highly ranked recruit. It airs every Sunday morning at 11:30 right here on WKYT Bus. Thanks for your insight. Thanks no for joining he, us. He's probably got numbers like breakdowns on your catchphrases. He on probably your does. Probably does. Uh, thanks again for joining us. Tip time tomorrow. Kentucky LSU, two o'clock right here on WKYT. Now here's Amber with what's coming up on WKYT News at 4:30.